hey guys welcome to nox kissing in this video i want to show you how to use your leftover stew to make jello fries okay so i'm going to share with you the ingredients the procedures and everything you need to know so let's jump right into this video as we make our spicy jello fries using leftover stew okay hi guys welcome to my food channel nox kissing my name is kari the channel is about cooking kitchen etiquette and equipment guys okay guys let's go through the ingredients we'll be using that's our salt this is our leftover stew and then we'll be using the tomato the pepper and onion by gino then thyme curry our chicken cubes and our rice and then our granite oil okay so the first step is to pour your rice into a bowl and then you wash it or rinse it you can use ordinary water you can use hot water or you can use salt anyone is fine with you but i'm using ordinary water and i'm just going to wash it rinse it and drain it okay so after doing that we go to the next step which is to put our pot on fire let it be a bit hot then we go ahead to prep our ingredients okay so now that the pot is on fire and it's a bit hot i'm going to go to the first step which is to the pour the granite oil in a pot okay so we're going to pour this granite oil in the pot and let it get hot okay and then we go ahead to add our tin tomato our sachet tomato like i said i'm using gino pepper and onion there's also party jello fries if you have that you can go ahead to use it so i'm going to pour this in and i'm going to let it fry it is important to continually stir you so that it doesn't get burnt okay so this is just me stirring it while i prepare for the next step so when it looks a bit dry you'll know that it's ready and the next step is to add your stew okay your leftover stew you go ahead to add it and after adding it you will now stir and then you go ahead to add the spices so i'm adding my chicken cubes first uh, my cube okay and then after that i go ahead to add my curry and after adding my curry i add my thyme so if you have rosemary um rosemary spice you can add it but if you don't have it if you don't have it um korean thyme is fine so we go ahead to stir it we we'll allow it to fry for some time and then we go ahead to add our rice so the frying time should be about two minutes but continuously stir so that it doesn't get burnt after adding the rice i go ahead to stir it and make sure that the rice mixes properly with the stew mixture and then i cover it to let it boil so make sure that you add the amount of water that will make it um cook continually check it to make sure that your rice is soft if it's not soft you go ahead to add more water okay i added more water here because my rice wasn't soft and then i go ahead to stir okay and after stirring i cover it again to let it boil for some time and then when i you know taste it i to check if all the spices are okay I needed to add more salt so this is just me adding salt to the rice and i go ahead to stir to make sure that the salt is properly mixed and then i cover it all night to cook for some time so to know that your rice is ready you have to check one that the rice is soft two that the water is dried and three it tastes delicious so voila guys our jello fries is ready it's time to serve and eat so you look, see how it looks it's very red it's very nice it's very spicy and it is delicious guys you can see how this thing is coming out so guys check out my other videos on how to make ramen how to make uh stew soups to mention a few thank you for watching this video do remember to like to share to subscribe to the notification button and i'll see you amazing people in my next video bye guys if you try out this recipe, please let me know how it goes. Okay? Bye, guys.